how do we publish a dashboard? So in this in this scenario, uh, my, uh, sales manager Joe is asked actually, okay, I want to see a dashboard of the uh, the most popular rental titles uh, that we're renting through our store. So what Ashley will do is she's first going to actually build a dashboard within Tableau Desktop and then publish that to Tableau Online. Uh, so here I have, I have I have Tableau Desktop. I'm going to connect to my Postgres database, which contains all of my data for my film rentals. All these database credentials were already already configured, um, uh, so it depends on obviously you, your use case, what kind of data you're connecting to. So I'm going to sign into that data source. And I actually knows that uh, all the film rentals are stored in a rental called table. And if I actually want to relate that film rental to the film name, I need to first link it to the inventory, which the rental store holds, and finally link it to the film. Now I have all the fields that are being populated uh, in, the, in the data source pane here, showing me what fields I have available in this table. But I'm just going to pick the ones that are actually most relevant. We don't really want to be bringing through all the data from a data the database at one time. Um, that's not good from performance, uh, but it's also not good from a complexity point of view that we might be overwhelming the user with lots of information that they don't necessarily want to see. So what I'm going to do as a trick, I'm going to highlight all of these data sources, all of these columns, I should say, and I'm going to hide them. And then I'm just going to click to show the hidden field so I can see all the available fields uh, which I've just hidden. Now, what I want to do is I want the uh, the film name and I want the number of rentals. Now, if I look in the film table here, I can see that there is actually a film title. Now it's just called title, but uh, again, I, I want to make this nice and clear for my users. So I'm going to rename this title as film title. I do that just by double clicking and tapping a new name. And I'm going to unhide that so that we can see it in our dashboard and our data sources. Finally, I actually want to do, I want to see how many rentals we have for each film. So I'm going to unhide the rental ID so that I can actually do a count of these rental IDs um, and show which films have the most rentals. So now that I've picked the fields that I, I want, I'm going to go to sheet one. Uh, I can see the data that I've actually added here on the left. And just to tidy this up, I'm going to, sh I'm going to uh, untick this box to show hidden fields. So I just have the fields I have unhidden. And then finally, I am going to choose to group these by the folder rather than group these by the data source name. Uh, that makes it a little, a little bit easier to see. It doesn't really matter to me which, which tables these, uh, these columns came from. So I'm just going to add a quick calculation to count the number of rentals so I can see how many rentals per film title. And if I call this formula rentals and the formula is going to be count, I want to uh, count the distinct number of rentals so that I'm not counting each rental twice if it appears twice. And then once I've done that, I can press apply. I can see that that measure has appeared here. And I'm just going to drag that onto columns and drag the film title onto rows uh, so I can see uh, the film rentals by uh, title. Um, Joe asked me which ones were the, the most common rentals. So I'm going to sort this largest to smallest. And I'm going to give the, uh, the sheet a friendly name. I'm going to call it uh, rentals title. And I can hide this, hide this field label here because it's no longer relevant. Um, now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add this chart into a very simple dashboard that we can publish to Tableau Server. So this little grid icon down here gives me the dashboard. I can drag the rentals by title into here. And again, let me give this dashboard a friendly name and let's call it top titles. Now I'm going to actually hide the rentals by title sheet so that I only see the dashboard that I have. So if I right click on the dashboard and then click hide all sheets, that will automatically hide all sheets uh, that are attached to, the, attached to this dashboard. And I'm now ready to publish this up to, to Tableau Server. So I can do this within Tableau Desktop itself. If I hover over the top navigation bar, I can see that I have a, a menu bar and I have an option called server. And I'm going to click sign in and I'm going to sign into Tableau Server. Now, the Tableau Server that I'm signing into is a, is a demo server that we keep within Vistory for these kinds of demonstrations. Um, but obviously, you might have a um, you'll have a, an address for a Tableau Server that you're using if you use Tableau Server, or you can also connect to Tableau Online 
I should mention that everything that we're going to be covering here today is generally relevant for Tableau Online as well as Tableau Server. Uh, so uh, you, could, you could use both of those tools to, to perform these functions. So I'm going to connect to Tableau Server and I'm going to sign in as Ashley in order to publish the dashboard. Each of the users that we have in Tableau Server has different capabilities and different permissions. Uh, and the part of these, these demonstrations will show you how you can how you can tailor your access and security so that it meets the needs of your team. So I am signing in, to, signing in as Ashley. And now that I am signed into Tableau Server, I can see that I'm signed into Tableau Server within Tableau Desktop because I have Ashley's name appearing in the bottom of the, of the Tableau Desktop window here. And this shows the fact that I am signed into Tableau Server, but also the user that I'm signed in with. So now that I'm signed in, I can choose to, to publish the workbook. Um, and this is the dialogue for where I'm publishing to Tableau Server. Now, if I click on this drop down for the projects, I can see the, the various projects that I actually have within Tableau Server. Now, at the moment, I've created three projects. I have a project for standard dashboards, a project for ad hoc analysis, and a project for standard data sources. Now, the standard data sources is grayed out because I don't have access to publish them because of the way that security has been configured. But I want to publish this dashboard to be standard dashboards. And I'm going to call the dashboards pop titles. OK. Uh, I am not going to add a description, but that is an option that I have if I want to. Uh, I'm choosing to publish all of the sheets. At the moment, I only have one sheet visible. So uh, that, that is correct. If I have multiple sheets visible and I only wanted to publish a, a subset of those sheets, um, I could hit edit um, and I could tick just the sheets that I wanted. Uh, but here in this case, I want to publish everything. Now, the work or the project that I am publishing into already has project already has permissions set on the project. Um, you can think of a project in Tableau Server like a folder um, that has certain uh, permissions for different users to read and write into that folder. So that's already been done for me and I don't need to worry about this. Um, and the next thing that I need to do is I need to see, I need to define how this dashboard is going to connect to this data source. Uh, so if I click on edit, I can see that the, the data source is going to be embedded in the workbook, which at this stage is, is what we want. But I can see that by default, Tableau Server is going to prompt the user who is viewing the dashboard um, for their database credentials. Now, I know that not all of the users who are going to be viewing this dashboard will have access to the database. Uh, I, I know that Joe, for example, doesn't have access to this database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to embed the password that I've used to access the database within this dashboard so that when anybody is viewing the dashboard, uh, Tableau Server knows how to connect to the database um, without asking them directly. So once I've picked the right options here, I can click on the background. Uh, I can also, I have two final options. I have an option to show sheets as tabs. So this will mean that when I publish the dashboard, it will actually show me the, uh, the name of the tab containing the dashboard or workbook. This is particularly useful if you want to allow your users to be able to navigate in between tabs. Uh, I can also choose to, to hide or show selections. For example, if I'd actually clicked on one of these bar charts in Tableau Desktop and I had highlighted it, if I was to click show selections, then when I publish this up to Tableau Server, somebody opens the dashboard, they'll see that selection that I've already made. Um, now, I, I don't necessarily want that. I actually want them to, to see the, to the, raw, the raw dashboard without any anything I've clicked on. So I'm going to unclick that now and I'm going to hit publish. And this is going to then automatically publish this dashboard up to Tableau Server.